y'all, Fun Quince here. I want to thank you so much for tuning back into our channel. As you can see, I'm the only one that's before you today. My name is Kenya Monique and my sister is Kiana Monet. We make videos in the area of self-care and lifestyle. I want to thank you all so much for tuning into this particular video because this is a very serious topic that generally comes up around this time of the year, which is the holidays. Before we proceed, I want to remind you guys to go on ahead and click the subscribe button if you haven't already and also click the bell so that you're notified whenever Kiana and I post a new video. Now, since you guys tuned into this particular video, then you already know what it's about. It is going to be how to take care of your mental health during the holidays. Now, like I stated, Kiana and I make videos around the area of self-care and so we found it to be very important to talk about your mental health because obviously you know that is a part of our self-care routine is making sure that our mental is right. And so I'm going to talk to you guys about five tips on how to maintain a healthy mental state. Okay, so the first tip is going to be meditation. So the reason that I decided to talk about this one first is because it's the one that sets up our day at the top of the morning and it literally can carry us throughout the entire day. It sets up the atmosphere and it also sets up our frame of mind. Now meditation is going to be a way to basically focus all of your attention on God. If you guys don't know, me and my sister are Christians and so one of the things that we do when we, when we meditate is we pray. We pray on how we want our day to go. We pray on also what God wants to speak to us about. And we also pray about how to be more grateful for the people that are around us, for the things that we have, and just for our relationship with God in general. So that's gonna be the first tip to making sure that you keep your mental health in check. Obviously, as you know, we're in the midst of a pandemic. And the minute that you turn on the news, all you see are either Black Lives Matter or you see police brutality or you see COVID cases going up all around the world. And there really is no way to get away from that. And so the best thing that we can do is learn how to deal with it. The worst thing that we can do is to turn a blind eye from it, act as though it does not exist and go on within our day. The reason that that does not work is because eventually that catches up with you. The reality is the reality. Whatever your situation is, whatever you're facing, whatever you're going through, whomever it is that hurt you, your reality is your reality. And so the only way that you can learn how to lessen the trauma of whatever it is that you are experiencing is to meditate at the top of the morning. That's gonna help to keep you centered. That's going to help to keep your thoughts in line with the word of God. And that's also going to help you to be kind to yourself and also kind to others. So the second tip is going to be journaling. Guys, I've just gotten back into this. <laughs> Um, when I was younger, I used to keep a diary and I mean, I journaled every single thing that I went through and it helped because I had a piece of paper to place my thoughts on. A lot of us don't have the privilege of being in a house with a ton of people or even a spouse. Some of us are single and some of us don't really have anyone to talk to on a day to day basis. Um, and so one of the ways that can help you to kind of get clarity of mind and speech of thought is to write down whatever it is that you're thinking. Writing your thoughts down is so therapeutic. And the reason is because it helps you to be able to set and achieve your goals. It also helps you to record your ideas. It helps you to relieve stress. It helps to boost your memory. It helps you to basically feel like you're talking to an individual, although you're just writing all of your thoughts on paper. I think the most frustrating thing that causes a bit of anxiety is to have all these thoughts in your head and you have no outlet. Well, basically your outlet is going to be your journal. But more than just achieving goals, guys, it's a real it's a real therapeutic way to just organize your thoughts and detach from the negativity that's going on around us in the world. Now, the other benefit to journaling is going to be that it inspires creativity. The reason is because you don't have all these thoughts bouncing around in your head that you can't put down on paper or that you can't see actualized. And so the best way to be able to see those thoughts come to fruition or goals or dreams come to fruition is to actually write them down. Or you write the vision down and you make it plain. And then you can proceed into taking the steps needed to see that actualized in your life. 
The third tip is going to be engage in human interaction. Now, as we all know, we're in the midst of a pandemic and so that may be a little bit difficult, but if you can get out or even just call up a friend or family member on the phone, just to kind of get some human interaction and conversation going, that's really gonna help with your mental state. Now, some benefits to engaging in human interaction are, it basically helps you to feel accepted because you can speak to someone about whatever it is that you're going through. You can also speak to them about whatever it is that you're thinking, ideas or goals that you may have. You'll be able to bounce that off of someone and they can give you their perspective on whatever it is that you just relate to them. Obviously, also, as you know, engaging with friends, people that you are in community with, there is nothing else that feels greater than being able to converse with someone that does life the same way that you do. Because it helps to receive a sense of validation, acceptance, and also affirmation. Another one is gonna be that it's an opportunity to have fun. You know, that social interaction doesn't just have to be over the phone. As long as you're social distancing, <laughs> human interaction can also be in the form of maybe going to the park. Now where I am right now, the city is shut down and so there's no going to restaurants and hanging out with people. So one of the things that you can do is maybe go to the park um, and just maybe people watch. I love people watching. I don't know about y'all, but I love, <laughs> I love just sitting on the bench at the park or something like that and people watching. Um, I like to see how people respond to their to each other, whomever they're in a group with. I like to see how they walk their dog. I like to see how they drink their coffee. I like to see how couples interact with each other. Like, it's just something that I enjoy. And although it may not be like that one-on-one -on -one human inter interaction, I like to see how others interact with others. And that helps to bring me a sense of solace and peace too. And it also helps me to not feel so alone. Now, in terms of human interaction, it's been known to boost our social life. It's also been known to boost our immune system. It helps us to have a positive outlook on life. It improves our mental sharpness. And it also helps us to live longer and happier lives. So guys, make sure that you are maintaining positive human interaction. Okay guys, so the fourth one is going to be making sure that your space is clean, livable, tidy, in order. <laughs> Whatever it is that you want to call it, guys, you want to make sure that your space is clean. And there are a ton of reasons for that. As we know, a cluttered space is a cluttered mind. I don't care what anybody says. If you have junk all over your space and nothing makes sense, there's no rhyme or reason to anything that you have laying around, then there is no way in the world that you're going to be able to have clarity of thoughts. And so one of the ways that you can improve upon your mental health is to make sure that your space is clean. Take a day and just organize things or do some deep cleaning. It's a way to help you feel more comfortable within your space. It helps you feel more happier within your space. It helps you to feel more relaxed within your space. And it helps so that when you get ready to unwind at the end of the work day or at the end of your school day, you don't have to do so much in order to just relax. Do you know what I mean? Like there's, there's nothing worse than coming home from a long day of work or a long day of school and you have to then clean up before you can even relax. If you keep your space tidy, then again, not only will it help improve your mental clarity, but it'll also help to improve upon your self-care routine and also your ability to just be able to relax in a clean and fresh environment. Okay, and so the last tip, guys, is going to be probably of no surprise. I hope this is of no surprise. Definitely one of the ways in which you wanna improve upon your mental health is to get rid of anything that's negative and toxic in your life. That's things as well as people, as well as environments, as well as atmospheres. If you're in an atmosphere that is toxic to your mind or that's unhealthy to your spirit, remove yourself. If you are dealing with people that are toxic, or that are unhealthy for your spirit and for your mental health, remove yourself. Now, obviously, if you're dealing with people and there's an option to remove yourself, then that's great. Some of us don't have the option to remove ourselves because our family could be toxic. Our mother and father could be toxic. There are ways in which you can deal with that. Maybe you can find like an aunt's or uncle's house or something like that to go over, like a family member or a friend's house to go over whenever needed, um, just so that you can kind of get a break at times. Another way is to go to church. Like, guys, I cannot tell you how much having a community of believers around you 
helps you to be able to cope or to deal with the things that you go through within your own home. Like, I kid you not. Basically, what I'm getting at, though, is that you want to make sure that you find a place that you can kind of call your self-hate, your safe haven, excuse me, um, and you want to go there as much as possible. Now, if you have the ability to remove toxic people from your life, do so. And the reason is because it's going to help you minimize your stress. It's going to help you live longer. It'll help you keep a positive outlook on life. And it'll just help you to just feel good about yourself all together. The silent killer in life, guys, is stress. And believe it or not, maintaining toxic relationships with people that, I mean, if the relationship is toxic, then to be honest with you, these people don't deserve to be in your space or in your life to begin with. Like if they can't see the value within you, then they're not going to bring anything positive to the relationship. And so then that, therefore that means that it's toxic, period. If it makes you feel like you're not good enough, then the relationship is toxic, guys. If there's always negative talk, being thrown your way or blaming being thrown your way like the person actually blaming you for everything within the relationship then guess what it's toxic if there is verbal or physical abuse going on in the relationship guys it's toxic period God has not equipped you to be able to stay in a situation like that now he's given us the capacity to be able to pass through <laughs> a situation like that by way of practicing the fruit of the spirit but god has never called for us to just stay in a toxic situation and so i am pleading with you guys pleading 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 begging you that if you are in a toxic relationship y'all it ain't worth it it ain't worth it and the reason why it's not worth it is because your worth positive and healthy interaction with whomever it is that you come in contact with especially a close relationship so that's gonna be the last tip on how to approve upon your mental health now I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into this particular video as I stated already if you have not subscribed to me and Kiana's channel already what are y'all waiting for go ahead and subscribe <laughs> and also click the bell so that you're notified whenever Kiana and I post a new video I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas and a happy holidays and until next time y'all bye big to small Woman.